Alright, so I thought I'd do a second review of this camera just because I've been using this pretty much every single day for the last, I don't even know how long this has been. I've been using this for months on end. It's been to several countries with me. I'm also about to take this camera to Scotland to climb up Ben Nevis. It's also going to go to Asia um, as well as, you know, the places within Asia, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam. So this camera has it's been through a lot. And to be honest, nothing's really changed. Like, it's still the same. The only thing, right, the only thing that's really diminished about this camera's quality over time is that when I zoom in with the lens, it makes some sort of noise. And I think that's because when I was in China, I managed to get some sand or dirt or something stuck in the lens mechanism. So either that or it's just because I've changed the zoom speed. But look, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. If I zoom in really quickly, it makes some sort of noise like that. And look at the quality, by the way, on that zoom. It's really, really good. That's literally it. Oh, and the other thing is there's a slight rattling of the shot. So if I, if I zoom in like this and then slowly zoom out, you'll notice that the lens shakes a bit. Now, it's not really a big deal. Like that's considering this is, I've had this camera for almost a year now. That's not a big deal at all. And other than that, like it's just so durable. So I think one of the coolest things about this camera is that you don't need to be an expert to, to use it. You can just turn on, it's got like an intelligent mode. You turn on intelligent mode, press record, and it just does everything for you. You don't need to know how to change the aperture or the ISO settings or anything like that. You don't even need to know what they mean. I quite literally just turn it on, record, and then start vlogging. It's literally as simple as that. I don't need to focus on anything else. And the zoom's kind of cool, like the zoom pretty much does what you'd expect. I'm talking to you guys like this, and if I wanna if I wanna zoom into what I'm saying like this, I can sort of put emphasis on my face and like you can more easily understand what I'm saying. So yeah, overall it's a really good camera. And what I would recommend more than anything else is if you want to get into vlogging, this is the camera I would suggest to get first thing. Like I wish I'd got this years ago. The the audio is kind of cool. I mean obviously you can hear the audio. This isn't edited in any way. I never edit my audio for these videos just because firstly it takes a lot of time to do that. Secondly I don't know how and and thirdly it just doesn't seem to need it. Like these it, the audio seems to be fine just from this camera, from what I can hear myself. I mean, I'm not an, a video producing expert, but it sounds okay. And by the way, I've thrown this camera around. Like, I've been throwing it into bags. It's been, I've dropped it loads of times. It seems to just be durable. Um, but yeah, I would absolutely recommend getting this tripod here. This is the Lamcow, you can see that actually there. Lam Lamcow tripod or Lamau. This thing is amazing. Like, you can bend these arms wherever you want attach it to things, it's very durable. This tripod's actually waterproof as well. This camera also has other things that I haven't even, I haven't even really tried to use, like it's got a little built-up, built-in flash thingy. It's got a, a flip camera, which obviously I do use quite a lot to check that I'm framing my shots up correctly. There's also loads of settings on this thing that I haven't really even tried to understand, like there's loads of night modes and different aperture modes and different things that I don't really know how to use. Um, but the, the settings are on there and you know if you want to use it and for the price as well guys the price of this thing I think it was about 200 pounds or 250 pounds Which is not a lot for the things it can do and considering it can film in pretty much 1080p with quite a good sensor Like the focusing on this thing it tends to focus quite quickly not instantly, but it tends to focus Pretty much on what you want it to focus on without you having to change any settings or anything so yeah, it's a pretty good camera overall and I'm really impressed with this. It's stood the test of time so far. So I'll have to see how it does when I go to Asia. See you tomorrow.